SAFA, that's the South African Football Association, will tomorrow announce who the new coach of the national football squad, Bafana Bafana, will be. Well, to take a look at this, I'm joined by Sudesh Singh, who in 2000 worked with Bafana, former Bafana Bafana coach Sheikh Mashava in training the under-20 and the under-23 squads. Sudesh, thank you very much for coming in. It's a short notice. We appreciate it. Morning, One of the names that's been mentioned uh, currently is that of Sheikh Mashava, as an example. But uh, Safa is not yet really indicated whether or not you know he's going to be getting the job. But he's been, his name has come up. Even this morning, we're asking our viewers. We've been asking, who do you think should coach? Uh, and Sheikh Mashava's name has come up. And you've worked with him, am I correct? Yes. As in 2000, in the Olympics squad in Australia. What will we call it? Amak Lukluk. Amak Lukluk. Yeah. Yes, what kind of a man is he? No, he's a wonderful character and he knows the football well. But I think here we're missing the, the point a bit. I think the big debate is about local versus foreign, you know. It's what's irrespective your, what, of, of the name. I think because of, of uh, just based purely on facts and logic, I think it would make much more sense to go with the local coach at this time. Because we, we are about a month away from uh, qualifiers, Afghan qualifiers. So you can't bring in a foreign coach now at this time he, who has no insight into the local football culture, and, ex and then we expect miracles from him. Yeah, but also just thinking about, you, we watched the FIFA World Cup now in Brazil, and most of the teams that did well have got local coaches. Germany is coached by a German. The Spaniards, even if they had an LA exit, they're coached by a Spaniard. Stephen Keshi is Nigerian. Exactly. There's no team that has won the World Cup that has not been coached by a local coach. But then so why I does Safa keep on doing this? Exactly, uh, Dan. I think we're missing the, the boat here. What we need to look at holistically, the, the whole structure of our football in the country. We're always looking for quick fixes. We want to take shortcuts. And we, uh, you know, we want to import from, from abroad and, and expect miracles. Instead of looking at what is the core problem of our football and addressing it. And what, is, what could that be? There's a lot then. I don't think we have a lot of time to discuss yeah, but it. Very briefly, but I think from the grassroots it. up, we don't have proper structures. Uh, our coach education, the, the level of the education is not relevant to, to our football culture. Uh, we, we don't have continuity amongst all our national teams. So there's many, many things. But the key thing we, 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 we overlook, we want to appoint a Bafana coach, yet we don't have a technical director. And that is a critical position in football. Because that is the man who will drive your technical program, who will put up policies and implement them. But, but also, you know, as a coach yourself, so this, you are a football coach, you know that it takes time for these things to, to work. And people think Germany just woke up yesterday and then won the World Cup. They've been planning this for some years. Well said, well said. Uh, it takes minimum of 10 years to put together a proper program. As you rightfully mentioned, Germany, I'll give you another example, Belgium. 10 years ago, they put together a program. And, and look where they've come now. The very same Germany, in 2000, they failed in the Euros and they bombed out in the first round. 2001, they started putting in plans in place. And now they spend 1 billion euros a, a year on development. So it's, it, there's no shortcut to success. You've got a plan. If we expect somebody to go, to, to go through high school, it takes about 10 to 12 years. Likewise, football development, to develop a, a, a top-class international player, takes a minimum of 8 so to 10 years. Yeah. So we've got to develop coaches the same way. Where's Sheikh Mashaba now, do you know? Currently? Uh, I think he's gone with the under-20 on a West African tour. Uh -huh. I don't know if he's gone out, but... Uh, yeah, that could be a clue, yeah, because we understand <laughs> Safa president said the man they've chosen that they'll announce tomorrow will not be there. Now, if Sheikh Mashaba is one of those people who's outside, your guess is as good as mine, because the other coaches who have been mentioned are also outside, outside South Africa, so we don't know. But Sheikh Mashaba, I like, I like Sheikh Mashaba myself. And I don't know him very well. I mean, I just know him. Because... From what I recall, in that Olympic squad in 2000, he beat Brazil. I'm just using that as an example, who were top. And those were youngsters coming through. And after that, I don't know what happened to Sheikhs. And he was out, and then he's come back. Safa seems never ready to focus on this plan and stick to a plan. Exactly, Dan. As you rightfully mentioned, from the Brazil team, there were players like Ronaldinho, just to name one. But we see where they've gone, Robinho. Our under-23 team, if we built up and kept that team, by now, we wouldn't have been having this problem. Now, you've been part of Safa structures, obviously, on the, because you're part of that squad, as an example. Yes. So you've got the experience of Safa. Do you guys get support as coaches from the administrators to do your job properly, or do they interfere, or is it a political interference? Well, it's, it's, it's a combination of factors. I think you get people without uh, the, the vision, without 
technical knowledge who come in and they don't look at the long term and they don't look at the, 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 what, what the country really needs. So there's always been the constant changing of officials, of coaches. I mean, we've had, what, now 16, 17 coaches in 20 years. And if you look at Germany, they've had less than 10 coaches, national team coaches, in the whole history of their football. So obviously, one plus one is not equal to two here. Yeah, we need to be more patient as well, get the results, but get the vision articulated, be clear about it, and say that's where we are going. The one, one person I think I would like to talk to very soon is Robin Peterson, who is the CEO of the New Safa Development Agents, because that's part, that should form part of that plan, but it is a long-term kind of thing. Anyway, Sudesh, thank you very much for coming in this morning. We'll all find... You deserve to know more. ENCA.com.